Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated you guys uh, taking some time to watch the video. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of the most important aspects for all type of fishing, and that's understanding casting angles. Now, casting angles basically has to do with the direction that your uh, lure or your bait is going into in relationship to the cover that you're fishing. And this has a lot to do as far as if the bass will bite or not, or not just the bass, but if any fish will bite or not, is the angle of your cast coming past a piece of cover. So we're going to get into this sort of on a basic level and help you guys understand it. So I think it's going to help you guys catch a few more fish. Um, first of all, um, the, the one of the things you have to understand about game fish, like bass or something, they are predators and they're opportunistic. And as predators, they they not only roam a lot in different type of you know open water environments but they also like to ambush prey so that's why uh cover specifically in the form of, of like a stump or a brush pile or a boat dock or a grass bed or rocks or something like that that's why fish usually like to hang around that stuff because they can hide and they can ambush you know shad or perch or crawdads or whatever that come by them it, you know the, the prey can't see them so much so understanding that has a lot to do with understanding your casting angles so first of all let's just take for example if you have a a stump in the water um you know everybody sees stumps or it's just a good illustration of what i'm talking about now when you come up to that stump say say i don't care if you're walking the bank or if you're in a boat or a kayak or whatever like that when you come up to that stump before you make a cast to it, you sort of have to understand or analyze some of the conditions around the, the fishing day that you have. Say for example, you know, if you look at the sun angle, the sun may throw shade or sun on certain parts of the stump. If the wind is blown in a certain direction, the wind may, the wind may be hitting the stump in one direction and behind the stump, it may be a little calm eddy, something like that. Same with current. If you're, if there's current moving through the body of water, you know there's going to be a little eddy or current break behind the stump, and uh, you know those type of factors. So the first thing that you have to understand is, let's take for example shade. If you, um, if you approach a stump and you notice that there's a shade line on it, most of the time the fish are going to be in and around that shade. So what you want to do is you want to position your cast where you can come through that shade. That has a big impact on as far as generating that strike. If you say the shade is on the left hand of the side of the stump and it's sunny on the right hand of the side of the stump, uh, most more than not, you're not gonna get bit on the sunny side, you're gonna get bit on the shady side because shade provides cover too. And it's the same with current. You know, if, you, if there's current moving through an area and also guys, even if there's no current, like say the water's not actually moving, if there's wind, wind creates current too. So when you're uh, casting to that stump like that, a lot of times if you go behind the stump or it's sort of out of the wind or out of the current, that can be a, a high percentage area also. Now that's one example of the stump. Let's say for example, if you've got a lay down tree in the water and say there's a tree that you know got eroded out and fell off the side of the lake and there's limbs everywhere on it. Um, one of the things that you have to do is you have to position your cast in order to come down the sides of those limbs. So if you can if you can look in the water, see how the tree runs out there, position your cast where you can come parallel to branches and limbs laying into the water. Because most of the time, if you come parallel to a particular piece of cover, your, your bait is in the strike zone a lot longer. Now, one of the things I like to do, say, say for example, let's go back to the tree example. Here's, here's how I usually like to fish it. I'll start out trying to fish around the perimeter of it. So I may take like a spinner bait or a crank bait or something like that and run it around the outside edge of the tree. And there may be some little small limbs out there, but I don't really want to penetrate the thicker part of it. Um, after I do that, my next cast may be a little bit further into the tree. So I may take a a spinner bait or a pitch or flip a jig or a creature bait into and around a little bit thicker parts of it. Now, based upon how deep the water is, the fish may be on the end of that tree or it may be against the bank if it's in deep water. But the point is, guys, is you have to position your cast to where you can cover everything. You want to cover the outside perimeter, you want to cover the inside, 
you want to cover the deeper parts of it and the shallower parts of it. And then uh, that's going to give you a lot better odds as far as you know catching those fish. Boat docks are another really key piece of structure where casting angles are critical because a lot of times on a boat dock, they're in one of two areas. They're either on the, uh, you know, the, the edges, which would be the sides of the dock or the front of the dock, or they're underneath that walkway area. And a lot of times if those fish are like on the sides of the docks or on the fronts of the docks, you've got to get your bait perfectly close to that dock edge in order for that fish to hit because say for example if you make your cast and you're three or four feet away from the edge of the dock those fish aren't going to swim out three or four feet to hit it you've got to get like within inches of that uh, area so make sure you position your cast where you can come perfectly you know straight close to the edge of it and that's going to go a long way too now casting angles also you know that's covered you know but casting angles also have a, a factor to play in open water fishing or if you're fishing say just down a, a rocky bank that doesn't have any cover on it. Um, the angle that you want to cast has a lot to do with a couple different factors. It has to do with the, the wind speed as far as how you know, light or how hard the wind is. And it has to do with the slope of the bank, how, how fast the bank drops off. Now say for example, um, you know, you're, on a, you're on a particular bank that has like a 45 degree angle to it. Um, you may want to position your boat like 20 foot off the bank and make a 45 degree angle cast into the bank because that way you're in that strike zone a long time. If the bank drops off real sharp, say you're on a bluff bank, you may have to get super tight to that bank and make long uh, parallel casts down to the bluff to keep your bait in that strike zone. And if you're on a bank that's real flat and gradual taping, you may have to get way out off the bank and just fan cast and you're hitting you know, the bottom on those flatter type banks. So let your, the bank angle determine the casting angle that you make with that. And also with the wind on there, sometimes um, I have found more than not guys that if you cast with the wind, you're gonna get more bites. You've got uh, better control of your lure. You can be a little bit more quieter, but sometimes, you know, you have to cast at a 45 degree angle and uh, I don't like to cast into the wind unless I just have to. The only times that I really cast into the wind is, say for example, I've got a brush pile, the one particular spot, and I've got to hit that brush pile every cast. And if the wind's blowing, sometimes I have to cast into the wind where I don't drift over it. So um, casting angles have a lot to do with a wide variety of uh, you know situations you're gonna come, up, uh, come upon. So, not only do casting angles have a lot to do, but a lot of, a lot of it has to do with um, the amount of casts that you make into an area. One of the things I'll finish up with is, is never, is make sure that you don't slop through an area or fish too fast. You need to fish at a slow to medium pace, make sure that you cover everything and just saturate the area. Because more than not guys, if you're, if you're catching a few fish, say off of structure or off of a bank, there's you're missing a lot more fish than you're catching so a lot of times if you slow down and come at these areas with different angles it's going to add up to a lot more fish so anyway i hope that helps out guys and we'll talk later see you